Pastor Joffrey coming to you straight from Bethel Church in Wallsburg. Now that you are social distancing, what are you doing to be down with the king? Now that you're off school, have more time on your hands, you're not in a mad rush to brush your teeth, get your hair all perfect, all while you're trying to eat your breakfast, and make it out to the bus so you don't get left behind. What are you doing with your time? Are you bored yet? Have you finished your video and computer games? Watched everything that's good on Netflix and Amazon Prime and Disney Plus? Well, I have a few ideas of how you can be down with the king. <laughs> Have you ever read the whole Bible? What? Do you want to know the king? When I was in high school, before I got out of bed in the mornings, I would read a chapter of God's word and I found that it helped me get into the right frame of mind for the day. And at night, I would read a psalm or a proverb before I went to sleep. And I just found it reminded me that my life was in God's hands and that it would help my brain rest before I would fall off to sleep. On my Facebook, I have posted a place where you can find these pages about the Bible. And so it has all the chapters written out and you can simply click those places off. So I am challenging you while you have more time on your hands to try and read God's word or maybe even books of the Bible that you are not normally reading or haven't read before and you can keep track of them on these sheets we'll link this in the description so you can print those off at home i remember one day when i was home sick from work and i decided i was going to read the bible and i picked the book of john i read the book of john right from the beginning to the end in one day and i found that i got such a better perspective and understanding of the whole book when I read it in a short amount of time rather than by chapter by chapter by chapter over several days. One of the things that I have posted on our youth Facebook page was a video by John Bevere and it showed about how reading God's word affects our lives. Not by reading it once a week or twice a week, three times, but it really spikes when you Read the Bible four times a week. It kind of reminds me of somebody who's trying to be a bodybuilder and build muscle. As you can see, I don't know too much about it, but I've heard that you need to work out a minimum of three times a week for it to have any lasting impact on your body. And so I encourage you to check out this video because it says that as we read God's word more than four times a week, are you feeling angry? Read God's word. It reduces your anger by 32%. Are you feeling lonely? Read God's word. It reduces your loneliness by 40%. Having problems in your relationships. Read God's word. It helps your relationships. Are you feeling spiritually stagnant, like you're not growing, you're just staying the same? Then you need to read God's Word. Are you having problems sharing your faith? Then you need to read God's Word. Do you want to know the King? Then you need to read His Word. Maybe you like watching stuff. Charity and I have found a TV series called The Chosen. We really like it. It's based on the story of Jesus Christ. And you can find it in the App Store. It's free to download. And then you can watch the TV series. Maybe you want to do something. You're sick and tired of sitting around. Why don't you use your creative talents to bring honor and glory to our King? Maybe it's writing a poem, or making music, or doing arts and crafts, or making a video. However you express yourself, why don't you use it to bring honor and glory to our King? Maybe you miss your friends from school. Why don't you give them a call? 
or maybe friends, or I'm sure your grandparents would love to hear from you. Maybe you could be the one to encourage them or even pray for them and bring, point them towards the king. Last way that I'm encouraging you can be down with the king is to pray. Don't forget about the five finger prayer. Thumb is to bring praise to God. Like I've been teaching you our memory verse, God is the only king, the king of kings and lord of lords. Don't forget, you can use that to bring praise to him. The pointer finger, pointing at everybody, praying that everyone would come to know the Lord Jesus. Don't forget, while you got one pointing, you got three pointing back at you. So your middle finger, which I'm not going to stick up at you, is personal needs. Don't forget about praying for yourself and the things that you need. Maybe you're feeling anxious or upset at this time, uh, or your parents are driving you crazy. Don't forget to talk to God about how you are feeling. The next one, the ring finger, is uh, to pray for forgiveness. As you are home in close proximity with the people that you love the most, it's easy to be short with them or mean or not listen and do what um, your parents are asking you. So try to keep short accounts. If you are mean to your brother or sister, ask for them to forgive you so that you will be able to get along and have a good time while you're at home. The pinky finger, the weakest of all fingers, is a reminder to ask God to pray and protect you. We found out last night that one of Charity's former pastors, he and his wife have both come down with the COVID virus. So we are praying for them as well as their family. I also had a coworker call me today from a previous um, construction business that I worked for. And they found out that one of the people on the site, that their sister has the COVID virus. And they are very concerned. And so I encourage you at this time, uh, just because almost everything is canceled, prayer time or talking to God, not canceled. You can talk to him anytime you want to. Even though we are apart, I would still like to take a few moments to pray for you. And so, just so you know, um, Ines uh, from our group um, has been called home. So she went home today back to be with her family in Spain. And so I would love it if you could just pray for her, for her safety on the trip as she left today, as well as uh, her health safety back home. So dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you that you are working the hearts and the lives of your people. Even though we're going through this difficult time here, you were not caught um, off guard. Father, you knew that this would happen. And so Lord, I pray that you would help us center our lives and spend this extra time that we have to get to know you more. I pray that we would serve you Lord, and I pray, Father, for this charity's pastor and his wife, Father, who have the COVID virus. We just pray as quickly as possible your healing touch upon their lives. Be with their families who aren't allowed in to see them in the hospitals. And so, Lord, we pray for them as well. Give them and the grandkids, Father, knowing that you have them in your hands. Lord, we pray for this construction business where many of the guys have high anxiety because of this person who visited uh, the work site and the sister had the COVID virus. And so, Lord, we pray for the guys who are there today and, and are wondering if they have been infected or not. So, Lord, we pray that you would keep them safe. We pray for the sister, Father, for a quick and speedy recovery. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for each family that's represented, Father, that you would keep them safe and that they would not catch this COVID virus. Help us have wisdom when to go in and when to stay home, Father, to keep away from this. And Lord, we pray as quickly as possible that you would finish this uh, global pandemic so that we would be able to get back to our lives. I pray, Father, through this time that many people would find you as their Lord and Savior. We ask these things in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen.
couple of announcements to keep you up to date on what's going on for youth. I don't know if you've seen the youth Facebook page, but unfortunately they've canceled overflow. So when I get more information from them about our refunds, I will let you know. We are going to be following government regulations for meeting together for youth. So unfortunately, if there's no school, then there is no youth. But turn that frown upside down because I'm going to be making more videos. What? So watch the Facebook page for announcements of when those videos will be uh, being uploaded. All right. Blessings over and out.